Love evolved. Fishing for love. PVE bubs. And still no Evo event. You're right, kids, it's Ras Clark, and welcome to your regular community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around, and let's get into it. So the community crunch has dropped. This Thursday coming as predicted, Feb the 11th through to Feb the 18th, Ark will be under Cupid's spell for Love Evolve 2. And why is it called Love Evolve 2? As the event Love Evolved has been around for quite a while now, and it can only be this, fish. That's it, fish. It's a new one this year that you can now go fishing for candies, chocolates and chibis, which is a pretty sweet deal because of course you can use the regular way of grabbing those chocolates by mating your dinos, but now you've got double the chances by going out fishing and hopefully getting some chibis and candies. And what new chibis are there? Well, there is the Crystal Wyvern, the Mesopithecus, the Otter, the Enforcer, and the Velo. All pretty cool creatures, and I look forward to seeing them in chibi form. And of course, the big news, breeding, taming, XP, harvesting, are all dialing up to the number three. Oh yes. Your breeding, mating intervals, egg hatch speed and maturation are all at three times, so get ready for some serious breedathon. Taming rates are at three times too, so you can tame like there's no tomorrow. And your XP is going to be at three times too, helping you to fly up and hit that level 100 or more. And your harvesting rates are at three times too, so it's a good time to grind out some metal. And of course, all the skins and stuffs that you love are coming back. Like the Cupid skins, the Halo headband, the Teddy Bear grenades, the bow and arrows, and the Love Shackles with two new ones, a Valentine's inspired shield skin and a Valentine's inspired sunglasses skin. Your Boxo chocolates are coming back and you're gonna want to get lots of them because they are going to, if it's based on last year, imprint your dinos by 50% meaning imprinting is going to be a lot easier and your dino candies will be out there to improve the movement speed of your dinos and give them a lick of paint for a temporary time. There's a few new creature colors for the event, but overall you're gonna find a much bigger, wider player install base during this event, which means more bobs on the beaches. In fact, there are more PVE bobs on Xbox beaches than anywhere else as we found with the statistics that wildcard dropped. To improve on the stats they've been revealing to us on previous weeks, they've now shown us how many people died in the last week across the three platforms in PvP and PvE. And as the devs quoted themselves, what is going on in Xbox? <laughs> there's, so many, there's so many more deaths in PvE on Xbox compared to the other two. And what's interesting on top is I ran a poll myself to see how many people out there are playing what platform. And PS4 is currently winning that poll. If you've not seen it, go to my community tab and cast your vote. It's there. And PS4 or PS5 is still winning. The team also revealed how many people got banned. <laughs> 732 people got banned last week. And that's a decent number and at least helps enforce some message that they are enforcing bans. Because I see so many people on Twitter and the Discord complaining of people not getting banned and I definitely think Wildcard detailing their stats on how many people they're banning per week is going to at least enforce some confidence with the players out there. And hopefully persuade would-be cheaters to not cheat We'll see, I hope it does the job. And speaking of polls, I've got one for the best map in ARC going on right now in the community channel. Go and check it out. Currently between Aberration and Ragnarok. And it'll be good to see how this vote plays out by the end of a 24 hour cycle. There's no evolution event this weekend, kids, I know. But don't worry, we knew it was coming. And you've got a three times event next week. It's not too far away. So get everything you've been planning to do ready for then. Love Evolved. 
and classic pvp returns if you don't know what classic pvp is it's a server group that removes all the tech and dials it back to what it used to be some years ago restricted to only the maps island scorched earth ragnarok valguero and the center no tech dinos available and no aberration and extinction content and with season four wildcard have decided as well as changing a few resistance and damage stats that they're going to add reaper queens to valguero so for those of you that are already playing classic big news reaper queens could be a bit of a game changer for this season and to wrap up the video here's a few community choices picked up by wildcard and i'll leave a link to the videos in the description below oh, oh my god oh my god Yeah, we need to try make it. There's still guy with a bear. The Rex trying to shake us. Nice. Dude, nice. Two players looking at us, they have high armor. No. Hit one. With long neck. Let's go. Nice. Nice, you got him. Perfect, dude. Off the UT, right? Yeah. I hate, I hate this game. I hate this game. I think I shot by the by myself. And it's great to see Wildcard are now engaging with the video content community. So start considering sending in those video submissions and you never know, Wildcard might pick you. I'll leave a link in the description below. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, peace out.